life or death. Last year, United States, 44 people drowned at our nation's beaches. This year, hundreds of thousands of men and women and children will visit Rehoboth. Our job is to protect those people. We've been doing it for 85 years. We're good at it. We have to be. We're the proud men and women that comprise the Rehoboth Beach Patrol. Hi there, my name is Scotty James and I am co-directing the Hoth Beach Patrol documentary of the next year. Today I'm going to expose why it's important that this documentary gets made. There we stand about the time. Let's take a walk. Parachute behind What was that moment? Four years ago, myself and my friend Nicholas Crawford joined RBP. At the current time, we were just being beach bums, hanging out on the beach on the day, riding bike cabs at night. One of the other riders at the time was RBP. He asked if we'd like to join, be lifeguards. I mean, why not? Stay on the beach all day, get sun, get paid for it. When do I start? 10 o'clock or Hobo Street. The next five weeks, my body was at the mercy of my lieutenant. Much as I never wanted to go back, every day at lunch I told myself just get in the car and drive home. I finished out the summer and actually guarded for another one for the least two. That summer I joined a family in a sense. I had one of the best summers of my life and got the greatest stand I ever had. Over the last 84 years, our sweat and awareness has protected our hose beaches. Let's be real here. These men and women are not doing it for the money. They're doing it because they want to. Because there's a lot of history here, and it should be preserved. That's one of the best things about doing this documentary. You get some of these older guards on tape, hear some of the stories, and, and, and document from the beginning to where it is now. I feel that a lot of people don't really understand the ocean. They don't, they don't think it's dangerous. A lot of people see the ocean as just a big pool. So a lot of inexperienced swimmers go out when they think they can just float around and the next thing they know, their head can't stay above water. A lot of people think that lifeguarding is just sitting on the beach, hanging out, you know, getting a tan, but there's so much more to it. Like, you, rookie training is basically boot camp. You go through the toughest workouts of your life, like two or three hours a day. I viewed the beach patrol differently before I joined it. I thought, I thought of the beach patrol as different I thought of it as a bunch of jocks or a bunch of stereotypical like Bay Watch lifeguards. But once I joined it, I I loved it. This little girl was probably about 10 years old. Got sucked out in a rip current, and I, I swam out to her, and I just saw the panic in her eyes. And she grabbed on, and as we're coming in, this huge set of waves uh, is coming in behind us, and I I put her in front of me with the buoy, and just said, "Grab on." And we got pounded, and as we're coming out of surf, I guess one of the local papers, the Coast Press or Cape Gazette, got a photo of it, and uh, you just see the white water just pounding, and I, I vividly remember that. The adrenaline flows through you, and you go sprinting down the beach, high knees through the water, and you're in the water hard as you can go in a big wave, and you're, you're out there, and, and, and just grabbing that person and really locking on to them, pulling them out. There's, there's no better feeling than that. Right before we started the CPR, she just opened her eyes and started. Yeah. Uh, Actually, she came good. back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, she that came down. That was one of the closest ones that we've had. Probably. In the same day, I remember we had like an 80-year-old diabetic woman who um, was like passed out. This was like literally like 20 minutes after. Here I am, 19 years old. My first year garden on the beach. The whole summer's been great, and. Uh, it really sinks in that this job is real and people die. We've been on an 11-year stretch, I think. Uh, 
since it started. Uh, and winning year in and year out. It's fun. It, you know, it, it's real competitive. It, it showcases how lifeguards rescue people and how athletic they are. Um, it's not all about winning, but it's, it's definitely something we try to win because it's on our home court. What year would you think that lifeguards started in COVID? You know, those guys work awfully hard, and uh, the money that they make, uh, I don't think sometimes justifies the efforts that they put forth. So, if someone said, What is covered out as a lifeguard term? What do you think that term would mean? Cover down. How did they get time? Okay, and I'm just going to throw a couple out. Just, we're just trying to see if you know. How about a 1072? A 1072? I don't know what that means. Um, this is just, how long do you think lifeguards get for lunch? I don't think they get any time for that. <laughs> no time for lunch. They don't eat. Okay. Number one, I think the most important thing about Delaware beaches is that we probably have the safest beaches in the country. That's a given. And these guys work awfully hard. But it's not just, they're not just up there saving lives. Uh, they're PR guys. They've got to be counselors. They've got to be babysitters sometimes. <laughs> In a few short months, these empty beaches will be flooded with hundreds of thousands of people. With help from you, we'll be able to document why they put their lives in our hands.